Hey everybody, Urban to Pay Tours here. Got <laughs> this thing saying poor connection again. You crazy? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm still saying poor connection. Oh well. It is what it is sometimes. <laughs> But you know, I got out the truck, watch the sunset. Anyway, I can't catch the morning sun coming up, but I'll catch it going down though. <laughs> Yeah, I got the time lapse on my uh, 360. <laughs> got it running. Got a little bit earlier today, but the sun's up above these clouds and all. <laughs> Hope it'll give me some good fireworks to show. <laughs> the other night was kind of boring. It was the sun going down, but there was just a little glow in the distance. That was it. end up being it. <laughs> yeah, right behind these trains here is the... Uh, <laughs> truck stop my trucks uh, not quite can't see it but anyway it's there anyway I read a lot of people said I can't really go live but got a couple of apps on here I can actually use and I can go live but a lot of this thing here is all the time telling me I got poor connections. Well, now it's wide open. Yeah, it's using it now. It's up there pretty good. Frames per second and all. Kilobytes. Oh well. Maybe it'll stay good for a little while. See here watching the sun go down. Got some bad clouds right over me here. But I mean, a lot of some winter clouds still, but feels good out here though. Oh, that signal's all over the place out here. Yeah, I've been trying since last night to upload a video. And, uh, <laughs> must be a bad connection in this area, even with Verizon. Yeah, I'll stand by to actually get me a couple of AT&T phones or something to, to a couple of dead spots. Maybe AT&T will work. Most of the time, Verizon does pretty good. Except when I'm at the house. Or near town or going to motor and you can get a better signal than if you can you're actually somewhere go figure on that one I see somebody down there I can't hey fishing will be nasty yeah I'm up here in Iowa I'm just uh Wait until in the morning to go knock on the door and make this delivery because they set me up for Friday to deliver, but somebody lost the ball on this one and uh, didn't plan on it being good Friday and, you know, the customer's going to be closed. So I get there and there's a couple other people there trying to make a delivery too and then, uh, oh well, everybody's going to have to wait till Monday morning. So Monday morning's going to be first come first serve so I'm gonna get there early and hope they open and don't mess up my day hey Jenny how you doing the, uh, yeah, I got a sunset going I got the uh, 360 camera up here it's on my tripod and there's the camera at the top yeah just sitting there uh, just doing a time lapse and see if I can turn this around yeah, it can right there, I think. That's the sunset I'm looking at right now. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, I think.
Uh, yesterday was alright. The day before, it was kind of So, that's what I get to see, and then the sun's still the sun's still up in right in here somewhere. It ain't quite come down. It's about to poke its head out from under that cloud, right, right about there. It's about to come out. It'll be going down in a few minutes here. But this is kind of what I get to look at right here. Well. Kind of, it's kind of hidden by these trains from where I'm sitting at. But, uh, that's what it looks like over here. And sunset go, oh, the sun's starting to peek out. And I got my tripod here with the 360 camera on top, it's doing a time lapse. So, if I be out here in an hour, you get about a couple of minutes worth of uh, video. Yeah, there's I come around the end of this thing here, and then around the other side, that's where the truck stops at. So, is it doing a lot of buffering on y'all's end? I just can't quite tell. There's the sun coming out now. Yeah, I still made it out here with the sun still coming down this time. The last two days, I kind of almost missed it between talking to a couple other truck drivers and uh, sitting there trying to edit a couple of videos and stuff. Jenny, I'm in Iowa. I'm in, I'm in Sioux City, Iowa. Yeah, I'm trying to put my hand over the end of my phone, hoping to knock some of that wind down. Y'all let me know if it starts buffering real bad. I'll just wait and end it. That's what it's been doing me lately. Every time I get somewhere I can actually do anything or time to be able to do something, I'm in poor connection. They would have told me this here Friday when I wouldn't be able to deliver. I could have stopped where I had some really good connection. I still could have got some shot similar to this. Could have picked a good place to stop. Is it buffering you guys? saying poor connection and stuff oh it's not buffering there okay it's telling me it's giving me a message on here saying uh that is that y'all might be experiencing buffering and all that poor connection keep saying poor connection then it goes wide open and then back down to nothing and whatever so anyway yeah, I was going to mount my phone here on the side of the tripod here, but then I'm not sitting exactly right beside my tripod, so. I ain't know if the wind gets up like it was yesterday. I ain't know how good it was going to be as far as sound. At least me holding it, I can put, put my hand over it and kind of knock some of that wind down. Oh, I see it now. It's on there. Cool. The, uh... Yeah, I'm a little more west of you, uh, Jenny. I'm out here in Iowa, so, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be... Huh. It's still got some sun going down here. See if I can get the sun right in my, in my little jar. Ooh, look at there. I put the sun in my jar. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Finally got that thing to show up up there, and I just got to set it up later on. <laughs> yeah, I did at least accomplish that the whole weekend. Got a, got another video I put up. Another sunset, the time lapse. I got another video I'm uploading now. It's only at like 40%. I've been trying to get it uploaded since uh, last night. So... Yeah, the signal's not the best in the world here. Like I say, I wish they would have told me that I couldn't deliver and I could have parked somewhere else where I had some decent signal. I got a hold of somebody's Wi-Fi. 
Yeah, it's a time lapse. It, uh, it ain't but a. It, it's a short one. I'll put it that way. I'll, yeah, it's it's a short one. You, you blink your eye, you're gonna miss it. I'm gonna tell you. You blink your eye, you missed over half of it. I'll say it like that. You ain't gonna miss the whole thing. But you see the sun blink. It's gonna. That's showing it now. So it's being live. It's uh, also doing it up here. I'm recording it, so I'm going to put it up too. Then uh, I'll put it up later just to have a video. I'm trying to get a bunch of videos because it's kind of stacked up that way. When I don't have time or can't produce anything or whatever, then at least I've already got some videos in the queue. All I do is hit go, go public or something like that, and then it will show it. How many people I got in this thing? I was trying to, sorry, I'm trying to put it down in the grass so I can see what's on the screen better. The, uh, oh, okay, cool. I was just trying to see what all it shows on the screen because I hadn't really used this but a couple of times. I, I set it up, I probably set this stream labs up probably, well, probably over a year ago now. I had it, I had it, I had it loaded in then, uh, that was before I got my 100, and uh, I tried to go live with it, it wouldn't let me, so by the time I got this downloaded and, or whatever to use it, then I had my 100, so I was able to actually use the uh, YouTube app to go live. So I've only used that one time when I first started. That was on uh, Father's Day last year. So. I tell you how long I've been on here, so I ain't been quite a year, I reckon. So, got a little bit longer, and I'll have a year in. That I've actually been on YouTube. I've been watching YouTube and uh, just playing with it and doing things. I didn't really subscribe to anybody or anything like that. I didn't know. I thought subscribe actually meant you had to pay for something, and well, I'm just too cheap. I liked a lot of videos I've seen, whatever, and I was seeing them for free. I said, shoot, well, well, I'm going to subscribe to it for and I'm about to pay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how my brain works. If it says subscribe, it connects it to you. I got to pay for something. Which is kind of what I've been running into lately every time I try to download. So it says free, free download and all that. Yeah, free. And to use it, you got to pay something. So. Kind of like the... Um, Yeah, you got in there and started uh, hammering it pretty good. Though. I hadn't really tried to hammer it to get people. You know, most of my day is driving, so yes, uh, I hadn't really worked on my first hundred. Maybe I'll say I was that way, and people just to get your first. A lot of people say it's hard to get your first hundred. My first hundred, about 120, 30 or something like that was pretty easy. About that hard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just anyway. Now I would like to get above that thousand just so I can use the YouTube app and go live because then I had like no signal and I could uh, actually go live with this here is kind of hurting my. Yeah, you slowed down. At least you over your thousand, though. You know, I'm just trying to. I just want to get my thousand now, just so I can use the YouTube app to go live, because I didn't have as much buffering and stuff, and I'd be out there in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you see, I got at least a building here. I mean, it's a green building or whatever the heck it is, you know. And I got a train right here, train tracks. I had to cross to even get here, you know. I'm in the kind of middle of nowhere. But if you look on the other side, uh, there's the river right here. If you look up Sioux City, Iowa. I got the um, what is that? The Missouri River, right, right here. I got a, it's, it's in my next uh, video here. Uh, you'll see it naturally with my camera sitting up that high. You can kind of almost see it. And then if you see a little glimmer just up under the sun right there, you'll see the river. It's right there at them trees. I mean, you go through them trees maybe 
50, 75 feet and you're, you know, the width of a, a normal house, yeah, you'll uh, be right there on the river. If you got like a, uh, a 70 foot uh, single wide trailer, you'll probably be putting your feet in the water to uh, go to length, that length from those trees right there. So, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's taking a little bit. I'm trying to hold this little tripod I got this thing on. To uh, I'm holding it with my other hand on the end. It's kind of knocks some of the wind down. I'm hoping it's not bothering y'all too bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good sunset right there now. Now I'm kind of wishing I went on over to the river now. That would be real good. But right there where I was standing at yesterday was, uh, had some trees in the way. Yeah, it's been pretty decent uh, as far as quiet. It's, uh, I ain't gonna say quiet because you have some of these trucks out here. They think they got to drive all the time with a jake brake on and they got the loud brakes just to make it run, boy, make them feel good or whatever. So anyway, yeah. Other than that, you know, you've got so many super truckers out here. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty quiet. I had no problem getting all my sleep in within a couple of hours and getting up. See if I can zoom in with this thing. I don't know if it will or not. Hold on. Oh, come on. It won't zoom. It won't let me zoom in. I was going to try to zoom in to see that sunset a little bit better through those trees. But it's not letting me. Yeah, like I just hit the button to flip it back to me. Because I'm a lot more prettier than that sun. <laughs> Almost choked on that one. Let me turn you back around. <laughs> there you go. Now, that looks a lot better, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of dying out kind of quick though this time yesterday it was dark dark before that uh where it actually quit glowing and all but yesterday before i got out here it was like glowing all the way across from over there all the way across here it was a pretty good wide spot and uh set up there I hadn't set finished setting that up like I said a lot of a lot of my stuff I'll be doing I'm doing for more later than now so you know how that goes I would tell Scott that uh, other place was a rest area in Iowa it was in uh, on I-80 in Iowa. Then I came across to uh, not cut up from there and come across. Then came up 29. Cause I was coming out of Kansas City, but I took uh, see I could have got me a tractor in that shot over there if I was at the river. Ah, do And a prettier sunset over there. I want to go ahead and get this thing started, so I just stopped right here like I did the other first night and just got it here. It was actually in a way prettier, but in a way you can kind of see the reflection on the water over there. So I just I went over there and checked that water side out and I had to get up inside the trees to actually do anything. So this time I fear I just stopped right here and catch me more of the sun actually going down, you know. Is that wind bothering you too much on the sound? I keep having to put my hand over it, it keeps wanting to blow pretty good. One day I'm gonna have to figure out where the own microphone this thing is and try to uh, put a cotton ball or something over it. Oh, 
Okay, so it ain't too bad. Okay. Now you'll be a little bit more stable. I got it on my foot now. As long as I don't start shaking my foot, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, I can hold my hand over the thing. It won't be so shaky, too. Yeah, right now. Uh, goes up that uh, right there where the mount the head would go right there is uh, uh second second <laughs> yeah the uh, right over where the stick goes onto the top that's the selfie stick for the uh, Insta 360 the uh, 360 camera that's just my little my short selfie stick I've been using that uh uh, 10 foot selfie stick, so that'd be it's five foot up there right here. I mean, hold up Flip you around here Yeah, just up to here is almost five foot You know and then the head goes up to right here. So when I have the head on it, it's like five foot right there at it the uh, The little selfie stick here up to the camera that's like three, three and a half foot or something. But I do have another selfie stick that's nine feet, eight inches. I measured it pretty good. I forgot how many inches this one is. That guy's a pretty truck. So anyway, I have this 360 camera. It's up there, if you watch that little light, it's turning blue to green, blue to green. That's when it's, uh. Yeah, that's, like I say, that's five foot here. That's another three. That's a little bit better than eight foot up in the air there. <laughs> so, just by itself. That's not even with the 10 foot selfie stick that I've been having on to it. Trying to do it, get a higher view of it. So, uh, get my foot back up here. Hold on, I know it's shaking. You want to twist and shake, didn't you? <laughs> You wanted some shake with your YouTube, right? <laughs> there you go. So anyway, put you back on the sunset. What little bit's left of it? The uh, so yeah, that's my setup for that. And I do have some other setups that I've made and stuff like that. And I can put it out there if I'm good fishing. I have my little chair down here that uh, I can have it the same height, almost the same height as me when I'm sitting here in the chair and I'm good fishing or something like that. And you can't tell the poles even there because I jab a uh, bolt down the ground and set the tubes into it. So, yeah, it's, um, I had that made before I even got this camera because I kind of figured out how the 360s work. Then I started ordering from this company here and shoot, they already had uh, like a 10 foot selfie stick that I already had made, you know, a while back. Yeah, I made out a three quarter inch PVC pipe, I made it up to 10 foot long. And uh, I could keep adding pieces to do it. And uh, made that. But um, they, when I was forwarding this camera here, they already had like a 10 foot selfie stick and all that. It is pretty steady. When I put that camera on there in the end of it and hold it straight out, it's got less bend than a half inch uh, electrical conduit, so. It's just got a little bit of bend into it. And if you learn how to use the stick, you won't even see that even that little bend into it. If you hold it flat, then you'll probably see it, but you gotta turn it up on its side and use it that way. And you won't see that little bit of bend in it. But it's a whole lot lighter than that little half inch uh, conduit piece. So, like I said, I've been trying to check it out to uh, do different ways to 360 up the things and all that. And I tried to go fishing the other day. I finally went fishing, but I, I didn't want to put my boat in the river that's flowing like that, you know. If it was a little bit bigger place, or something like the Ohio or the Missouri here or something. But the way this thing's running up here, I wouldn't have did it because I've seen some logs coming down there about as fast as my boat would go. You know, and I ain't got no top of the line bass boat. It's still whatever. It's still only 88 horsepower motor, so it don't go all that fast, about 35 to 40. So, 
Now I would stick it in here a little bit better than I would that the little one we had. See, that's why I've been telling you, you need to get out and go fishing. I know y'all was up there in, uh, what, the Pittsburgh or something y'all had to go to? And uh, y'all went fishing and doing some stuff up there? That'd be nice. I know a few YouTubers up there could have got with them, got, went catfishing or something. Of course they had fun. It was there was uh fishing. Ain't nothing wrong with fishing now. Tell Scott they had to go out there and go deer hunting one time. Get them out of deer hunt. Put some deer in the freezer. Yeah, I got another video I'm trying to upload. I've been trying to upload it since uh, last night. But the connection's so poor here. I mean, I'm in civilization, but the connection's poor as I don't know what. Not unless everybody around here is on Verizon, and I hate it for them there. They need to upgrade the towers here then. Because, uh, kind of... I want to stay in Pittsburgh one day. A friend that lives there. Yeah, yeah. You said something about it being sick or something. You know, I don't know how long y'all's been beat here. Yeah, the wind. I keep having to put my hand down because the wind quits, and then all of a sudden it starts back up. <laughs> Look over this way. Looks like the sun going down over there now instead of over here. The sun actually went down right here, but uh, it's actually looking like it here with my eyes. I'm sitting there looking at it over here. <laughs> That's crazy. It is what it is sometimes. That's why I love it when you get the clouds and all the sunlight actually comes up and hits the uh, clouds. Yeah, that's why I love it. I said the other night was it's all out here, which is kind of a good thing with much rain I've been in. So sometimes you do like those days, but when you want to watch the sunset go down, you want to, you want some clouds there to kind of darken out the sun a little bit to go behind something to not blind the camera as much or yourself but then you want when it goes all the way down you want it to uh, bounce off the clouds and give you different designs and uh, like a drawing in the sky and stuff you know so You actually made me a uh, DIY video, Jenny. If I can never get it to upload, I'll, 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 you'll be able to see it. But, you know, it's a little bit long, but I did uh, two power boxes. I have one sitting here. It's like a toolbox that has a battery in it. And I hook up to my cameras or my phones or whatever. Like just now, I forgot to bring my dome plug in for it. So I got the wires and I got the battery. I just don't have the actual USB adapter to plug your phone or whatever into. So I forgot that piece. Go figure on that. So, yeah, I'm going to get me a couple more of those to uh, put in both my uh, boxes. Maybe you'll see that one when it comes out. Yeah, you need to break down and get you that 360 camera like I got here. That, I know it's a little bit for it, but it's the same price as a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Forgetful. I know. But anyway, yeah, I beat myself up for it. Time I started unpacking all this stuff, putting it up to uh, start recording. I said, thank God I, I recharged my batteries on both my, my phone and my camera before I come over here. So I should be good for a few more minutes while the sun's going down. <laughs> They, uh, but yeah, you need to get that uh, 360 camera here. You need to go motorcycle riding. Because it gets everything. I'm going to tell you, it get, you put it on top of your helmet, one, you better make sure it's glued or bolted down good. They, uh, but that is an expensive thing when it's $400. Even a GoPro or something, they would have to do it. But 
We do have a uh, hand. You can put uh, get a handlebar clip like your GoPros do, and uh, use that to put on your handlebars if you wanted to, and then do it that way. But you might want to get a uh, hook the selfie stick on top of it, put it on out there in front of you, get some distance from you, and then it'll look a lot better. But yeah, that would be that'll be pretty nice there. Get back home again. I'm gonna uh, try to get somebody with a motorcycle to uh, try that out for me. Different ways to mount it, how to look good or what, and uh, see how it works. Yeah, you know, with that you can. Uh, it don't get things really far off like the account, like my phone here. It gets, you know, it's more up close and personal like this, more than like that. So the GoPro would do a lot better far more distance but riding down like Las Vegas Boulevard and no, all you'll get the buildings good and all that you know if you do it if you do it right it'll get it good and you know you try not to go too fast where it's all like a blur but at the same time that is kind of what you want sometimes on what kind of video you're trying to make you know but uh yeah it'd be kind of fun to do that Yeah, I know a few people with motorcycles. When I get home, I'm gonna uh, see if they'll see if they'll do it for me. See how it looks, different ways, you know, mounting it on their bikes. And see how it looks. And I'll let you know when uh, I do that to uh, watch for it. Got a few for is just getting time off to do it. You know, like right now, I could probably do some stuff, but. Ain't a whole lot here to do anything with. I doubt they even got an Uber to go anywhere to do anything. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that 360 camera. It's just, uh, you gotta find some way of editing the videos for it and all, because otherwise you gotta start paying for everything every time you. Every time you download something to use, then it's like wanting money all the time. I'm like, that gun, come on now. I mean, it does do a lot more. I mean, you can get the same kind of footage you do, or more footage than you do with a regular camera. It's just that things are at a long, long, longer distance. You can get with a GoPro better than you can with that because of the, uh, just the fish eye lens on it. So, I mean, it has a reason for it. But the things it can do and get, you know, is, man, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's ridiculous what, how, how, how that thing works. Start looking it up on the computer and start looking at it. Man, that thing, it's a trip. You can keyframe it to turn certain ways. I can show you everything right here, like the setup I got right now to the, uh, the tripod. And when I do the uh, video for it, I'll have American flag sitting right here where this spot is, directly up under that camera. I'll have a uh, flag just sitting down here to cover up this tripod. And then that stick up here, that selfie stick that I use, you can't even see that in, in the thing unless you look for the shadow on the ground to figure out how I'm holding the camera or whatever. So it's crazy what that thing can do. But then you can go back and frame everything in there and I can make you look at certain parts as you go through the whole video and you'll think it was filmed with a GoPro or something. But then I can show you the whole this whole area around here and see the way I want to do it, you know. It's neat. Expensive to try to do get a, you have to either have or get a good computer, like a gaming computer, to be able to run the stuff and hold all the footage because when that thing is recording that thing on just a regular record, that thing is running anywhere between it to a, uh, 800 megabytes to a gig per minute. So that takes up a lot of space when you start converting it and everything else. As it's, go as it's putting on my phone and everything else to do things with, it's using a lot of space. So if you ain't got at least a one terabyte hard drive, <laughs> you ain't want to start downloading a few of those pictures in there. But you figure a terabyte a minute just on the average 
to say that, 800 megs to a, uh, one, one gig a minute. Yeah, 30, 30 minute video. That's about 30 gigs right there, just on one video. You know, that's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of memory just for a 30 minute video. Just a 15 minute video is 15 gigs, or right at it. So. Then you got to have, because it ain't just recording like this phone right here, it's just recording from here to here, and from here to here. Yeah, so it's just recording that. And you see how it is, you gotta have at least just a decent computer to handle it. You know, with any kind of time limit. Otherwise, you can do like my old old computer and uh, take an hour to render a 15 minute video. So. Yeah, it was kind of fun. So I stepped my game up, got me a computer. What's I doing all that for? So I got me a new computer now to run that and get all the programs for it. But now is every time you download a program or something that'll work with it, it's, uh, it's wanting. This one's 70 for that one, and something for another one. Like that, God. And some of them's per year. Uh, you do all your uh, editing mostly live or uh, just on your phone, don't you? Yeah, so far every time I download one for the uh, phone, it just don't want to work right or whatever. I just said to ain't with it. Sometimes I just kind of wonder how people even get it done with on the phones. Actually, I wish I had more memory on this phone here, just regular memory. That way I could have that 360 camera there go straight to here and uh, yeah, you do everything on your phone, yeah. The, uh, because the app for it on the phone is a lot better than the computer app uh, program for the camera. So you can actually do more on your phone than 